Hello everyone, my name is Jack Sorrell and today I'm going to show you how to install Homebrew to your Wii U's home menu. In my last video, I showed you how to launch Homebrew from the Wii U's web browser. That method works, but it crashes quite a lot. So, in this video, I'm going to show you how to bypass the web browser entirely and put Homebrew right on your Wii U's home menu. For this video, you're going to need a specific game from the Wii U's eShop for this exploit to work. The Homebrew launcher can't just be put on the home menu, it actually has to replace a game you already have. But the issue is, only certain games work. I'll have a website linked below which shows you all of the games which work with this because the chances are you don't have one right now. Keep in mind that these games are not free and you will need one to continue this tutorial. I'll be using Dr. Kawashima's brain training which Nintendo actually gave away for free in 2014 but now costs around £6 or $7. This free promotion may have just been for European countries though but just in case Check your eShop purchases because it may be there. Remember, you can't just use any game you have on your Wii U, you have to use one which is listed on this website which is linked below. But if you do want Homebrew for free, watch my previous video on how to install Homebrew using the web browser. That method is quite unstable and only works while online though. So now you know what you'll need, it's time to shout out our Patreon supporters. For this month, we have Alexandi1 and Boxfish, so a huge shout out and thank you to them. But now, let's get started, and remember to leave a like on this video if it helped you out. First of all, head over to your PC, and in your browser's URL bar, type in Wii U.console.guide, and you'll be taken right to my Wii U page on my website. Scroll down to this video, then click the HackG Files button. Then on this Google Drive page, click download, then save it to your desktop. Then extract the contents of the zip folder to your desktop. Then open up your Wii U's SD card and copy these two files over to the root of the card. By the way, these files include a neat theme for the Homebrew launcher, but if you don't want that, simply delete the theme from the folder. But since they are quite cool, I'll be keeping them, and I think you should too. Once you've copied those two folders over to the root of the SD card, you're finished with the PC. Simply eject the SD card and put it back into your Wii U while it's turned off. Now on your Wii U, open up the Nintendo eShop and purchase a compatible game if you haven't already. I'll be using this game, which is the cheapest compatible game available. Keep in mind that this game will be replaced by the Homebrew Launcher, so once we're finished, you will not be able to play it. To play it again, you'll have to delete the Homebrew Launcher from Data Management, then re-download the game from the eShop and you should be good to go. Also keep in mind, the game must be on the Wii U system memory. If you have any USB devices installed, it should have been copied there. 
so make sure to move it to system memory. Don't copy it to system memory, move it. Now open up the homebrew launcher from the web browser and hopefully this will be the final time we have to do it. Now in the homebrew launcher, run your new homebrew app, Haxchi. To select the game you want to replace, press A. Then press A once again to confirm. Give it a few seconds and you should be kicked back to the home menu. And that's it, you've just installed the homebrew launcher to your Wii U's home menu. So, from now on, to open the homebrew launcher, simply tap the homebrew launcher icon. Once you tap the icon, just wait a couple of seconds and the homebrew launcher will open. I also made this custom splash screen to match homebrew. But is it worth the $7 price tag? I say yes it is. This makes sure your homebrew launcher pretty much never crashes again and lets you launch homebrew while offline, which is a must for some use cases. And of course, to exit the homebrew launcher, simply press the home button and you'll be taken back to Me Maker as normal. And when you want to launch homebrew again, Simply tap that handy icon right there. Well, that's all for today. My name's Jack Sorrell, and I'll see you next Sunday with a brand new video.